Hello good day viewers, still on trigonometry. In this tutorial, we are going to apply our previous knowledge to find the trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. So if you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload any content and don't forget to like this video as well. Let's get started. Um, I would like to start with 30 and 60 degrees. And um, to do that, I need an equilateral triangle. Remember, an equilateral triangle has all its interior angles equal. All the three interior angles are 60 degrees each. And the side lengths, they are also equal. So, suppose we have an equilateral triangle like this. Something like this. All right. This must be 60 this must also be 60, likewise this, 60 degrees each. And the side lengths, it doesn't matter. You can use variable like x, x, x. They must be the same. 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, but make sure they are the same. So I, in the end, I'm going to partition this line, this line segment, and I'm going to divide it into two. So I need to use um, even number. So let me use two. So if this is two units, this must be two units, likewise this. Secondly, I would like to partition this. Draw a perpendicular line from this. Let me call this A, B, and C. From A down to the line B, C. So let me delete this one. So we have a perpendicular line like this. Trust that this angle is 90 degrees. I remember that these two angles must be identical, equal. So each will be what? 30 degrees. 30 degrees each. So now we are free. Okay. And since I have divided this line into two, from B down to this point will be one, and from this point down to C will be one as well. Remember one thing. Sine theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse, right? according to what uh, trigonometric ratios then cosine of the same angle will be what adjacent divided by hypotenuse and lastly tangent we are going to take their reciprocals as well will be opposite divided by the adjacent or you can take sine divided by cosine for tangent all the same thing so let's start with 30 degrees because you can see we have 30 degrees here but before then I think we need to find the the height of this triangle let me call it h according to Pythagorean theorem it stated that hypotenuse squared right is equal to what this the sum of the squares of the other side so 1 squared plus h squared 1 squared plus h squared but we are looking for h remember so we make h the subject 2 squared is 4 if you take 1 squared to the left it becomes negative 1 squared is 1 this is h squared 4 minus 1 is 3 then you take square root of both sides so h is equal to square root of 3 so this side length is square root of 3 all right so i think i can clean this I would like to start with sine of 30 degrees. We are going to find all the six trigonometric ratios for 30 degrees. So we start with sine of 30 degrees, which is equal to what? Opposite divided by hypotenuse. What is opposite? 30 degrees is directly opposite to one. So one here, this side length, uh, I'm only considering one of the triangles. So you can, you are free to clean this so that you won't get confused. You see that i'm only focusing on uh, on this right triangle here so this line this side length is directly opposite to angle 30 degrees so that is the opposite side one over the hypotenuse which is two can you see that therefore sine of 30 degrees is one divided by two you can box it before we move to cosine i need to find the reciprocal of this Reciprocal of sine is what? Cosecan, cosec, 30 degrees, 
is the reciprocal of this so reciprocal of one over two is just like flipping upside down one over two and it becomes two over one which is two two we have four left next i would like to go to cos of 30 degrees adjacent divided by hypotenuse this is the adjacent side of 30 degrees hypotenuse remain two so it is it is what square root of three divided by two reciprocal of that i'm going to delete delete all the whole of this sorry second second 30 degrees is this reciprocal of this so just take two over square root of three but you see um, we have square root of three to the bottom you can rationalize it by multiplying the top and the bottom by um, square root of three right just like this square root of three square root of three you know this will be one just multiplying by one so this will give us two root three divided by three so two root three divided by three is secant 30 degrees so let me just write it here two root three divided by three so moving on to tangent tangent of 30 degrees uh, you can either take sine divided by cosine or you take opposite divided by the adjacent all the same so opposite divided by the adjacent so one divided by root three you can also rationalize it by multiplying the top and the bottom by root three uh, one times root three is root three root three times root three is three so this is the same thing as root three let me just write o root three divided by three all the same So we are done with 30 degrees. Now let us move on to 60 degrees. So we are going to begin with, um, let me see, how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have one left, which is reciprocal of tangent, 30 degrees, which is cotangent, 30 degrees. All you have to do is to take reciprocal of this. Thank God I didn't delete this one. You can just use this one instead of that one. Because taking this one, you have to rationalize it again. Just Flip this one upside down. You have root 3 divided by 1, which is root 3. So these are the six trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees. Then for 60 degrees, because we have 60 here, sine 60 degrees opposite divided by hypotenuse. 60 degrees, this is opposite. This is hypotenuse. So we have root 3 divided by 2. It reciprocal, which is cosecant, just flip it upside down, you have 2 over root 3. If you take, um, if you multiply the top and the bottom by root 3, you have 2 root 3 divided by 3, just like this one. 2 root 3 divided by 3. So let me write O, 2 root 3 divide by 3 this is sine and its reciprocal then moving on to cosine let me see if this space will be enough for me um, cos 60 degrees cos 60 degrees it will be adjacent divided by hypotenuse 1 over 2 1 divided by 2 this is cos of 60 degrees. Its reciprocal is secant, secant of 60 degrees. If you take reciprocal of 1 over 2, you have 2. So now we have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Remain tangent and its reciprocal. Tangent of 60 degrees. Opposite divided by adjacent. Opposite divided by adjacent, root 3 divided by 1, 
which is still root 3. It reciprocal cotangent of 60 degrees is 1 over root 3, right? 1 over root 3, which you can always rationalize. Let me see. I think we have something like that here. Uh, you multiply the top and the bottom by root 3, it will be root 3 over 3, right? That is O root 3 over 3. This is cotangent. We are done with 30 and 60 degrees. Moving on to 45 degrees. Um, for 45 degrees, I would like to use a special right angle triangle. You know, we have different special right angle triangles. The special right triangles are those with uh, whole number sides without decimal. So, for example, if I have a right angle triangle like this, this is right angle. So one special right angle I would like to use is the one that has 45 degrees, 45 degrees. This is what we call an isosceles right triangle because you can see that these sides are equal. 45, 45 is 90 plus this 90 making 180. So this is a triangle and it is an isosceles. It is also a right triangle. So if it is an isosceles, you should know that this side length must be the same. So if this is x, this must be x. If this is 2, this must be 2. If this is 1, this must be 1. So I would like to use one unit. One unit, one unit. It could be 1 centimeter, 1 kilometer, whatever. So if it is 1 centimeter, what will be the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared. This is 1 plus 1 equal to 2. And h will be what? Square root of 2. Therefore, the hypotenuse of this right triangle must be square root of 2. Alright, so we are good to go. Let's start. Sine of 45 degrees. You, you may use this one or this one all the same. Sine is opposite and divide by hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse. You can multiply the top and the bottom by root 2. So this becomes root 2 divided by 2. This is sine of 45 degrees root 2 divided by 2. What about its reciprocal cosecant? Reciprocal of 1 over root 2 is root 2 divided by 1, which is root 2. So therefore, it reciprocal is root 2. Then we move on to cosine and it reciprocal as well. So cosine of 45 degrees adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So we have the same values. 1. So since they have the same value, let me just write this one. That is root 2 divided by 2. It's reciprocal secant will be the same thing as that of the reciprocal of sine. That is root 2. Then lastly, we move to tangent. Tangent of 45 degrees. Opposite divided by adjacent. 1 divided by 1 is 1. And if you like, you can see sine of 45 degrees divided by cosine of 45 degrees. You can see sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. Likewise, cosine of 45 degrees. So since they have the same values, if you divide them, you get 1. It receives local cotangent. Reciprocal of 1 is 1. So both tangent of 45 degrees and it reciprocal are all the same. So I think we have six of them, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is how to find the trigonometric ratios of these special angles. When we get to unicycle, you see a lot of them. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. 
and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye